Hello, everyone. My name is Kwame Lewis, and I'm the Managing Director for Methodify. Thanks for taking the time to attend our demo session today. Before we get started, let me tell you about my data journey. Around 2000, I started out with IRI as a brand analyst and analytical insights manager. Then around 2003, 2004, I started working for ConAgra Brands, where I worked on category management and shopper insights. In 2008, I decided to join the online sample world and started working with a company called Dynata. However, during my time, it was Research Now and before that, eRewards, where I primarily worked on new business development. Then in 2015, I moved over to the sample management technology side a company called Scent, where I was the Vice President of New Business and Strategy. Now let's talk about my new journey, Methodify by Delvinia. We're a global tech company that focuses on research automation. Essentially, we look at your current business process to see what components of your research can be automated. That could be the sampling, the methodology, the reporting, or all of the above. Our goal is to help you seamlessly integrate quant, qual, and AI solutions through automation to create more efficiency along with cost effectiveness for you and your team. As a 20 plus year old global tech company, we've invested in the past five years developing Methodify to meet the demands of the research space with the vision of being the operating system of MR. Now, for those of you that have been in this space for three years or longer, we've seen quite a shift across the marketplace and companies need to continue being scrappy and nimble within their insights team to scale during these challenging times. Being the voice of the customer by representing their feedback in the boardroom, bringing a truly holistic view of the customer's experience to the light that can guide decisions. This can often mean taking an evidence-based approach that prioritizes that direct consumer feedback, even over traditional experts' opinions, ultimately making you a true consultant within your organization, bringing value to your stakeholders as well. At Methodify, we've reimagined the research platform experience. And what do I mean by that? Flexibility, ease of use as the true utility for your team, a more streamlined approach to insights, much more ubiquity in completing tasks, sharing data, and creating speed. We're building the operating system of MR, compounding structure within one platform. And with that, I'm gonna turn my screen on and jump right into the demo. All right, and welcome to the Methodify platform. Before I jump into the demo, let me give you a little bit of background. After speaking with our clients, it truly was about making faster modifications when it comes to customizing components within the platform, specifically around the methods. Even though we had these elements before, we implemented new enhancements, allowing you and your team the ability to be more creative, building custom methods for simple surveys. However, you now have the ability to share across the network to your team members, other business groups, or key stakeholders within your organization. So we move past this ability to only democratize the data at the end of a project, but to democratize stimulus and instruments at the beginning of the project as well. First, we're gonna be exploring the idea of building a method. So when you first log into the platform, you'll see that you have various options to the left. If you were to click on methods, then it would provide you with the two options below. If you were to choose Methodify methods, then it would be generic methodologies that basically any company can use, or my methods, which is custom to a specific client or brand team. These could be as simple as us fiddling around with the methodology, 
adding some different components like new technology, updating the sample frame, or perhaps building a new net method for your team. Now, if you didn't see methods that were available within the screenshot that aligned with your current research needs and you wanted to configure a project yourself, then all you'd need to do is scroll down and click on build a custom method. For this exercise, we'll just call it test one, and then we'll hit continue. And at this point, you can almost configure anything that you want. However, in this case, let's just assume you've already templated some things and you just want to upload a few components. With that, we'll go to add sample. Once again, you have a couple of options of browse our templates and browse your templates. For this exercise, we'll jump right into browse your templates. And we're gonna choose US Gen Pop. So what you're viewing is the specific sample frame parameters, things like age, gender, region, total number completes. So now we have the sample set. It's now time to see what kind of survey we'd like to implement. Once again, for this exercise, we're just gonna jump into browser templates. As you can th see the three options, for this exercise, we're gonna choose the concept test monadic space boots. As you can see, we've connected a specific type of test, the survey set, the sample frame is set, so we actually have configured this example in a matter of seconds. So all you have to do now is press the button for send for approval. That's how simple it is to launch a custom method. Now that we've jumped over to our survey section, as we continued conversation with our clients, they told us the ability to be more flexible and customizable within the platform provided more utility for their teams and truly helps meet their research automation needs. Now, let's just say we went back to my surveys and we decided one of the templates we were working on, like the concept test, we wanted to edit or adjust for the next iteration of our project. We would just simply click on edit the survey. And here it allows you to look at the overall survey structure, whether it be reviewing the specifics in question one, Scrolling down to your stimuli, seeing if you want to change the skip logic, duplicate the question, save that specific question to your library, or remove that question. Additionally, if you wanted to update or add questions, this is also available. Rearranging questions, maybe moving question three down to four. As you can see, it automatically saves. This also gives you the ability to track those changes you've done as well. As you can see, it allows for so much customization to solve your needs, meaning you can even go back and capture a new custom audience. Additionally, if a client or an internal stakeholder had a last minute change request, no concerns on your end because you're just adjusting as you go. These were some of the comments we were hearing about these limitations across other platforms as well. To make these changes in seconds and not hours was critical to meet our clients' needs. Let's jump right into the reporting. So what we heard from our clients is that they wanted a more agnostic approach to data, meaning more variations in the output and the different formats, the ability to create stronger PowerPoints directly within the system, more abilities to visualize the data, and a strong tool to help manipulate in a way that would provide professionals like yourself the ability to cut the data to uncover the insights to move your business in the right direction. For this specific example, I decided to review dog food. This is a concept test comparing three images below head to head. Basically, you can execute a lot of different things on the reporting side, like downloading, whether it's an executive summary, PowerPoint specific, PDF, 
cross tabs. Other options could be like filtering by questions. Maybe you want to look at overall likability. Reviewing the top two box. This gray line represents the performance average. So as you continue to build more tests over time, you can have a comparable or benchmark that. Then if you wanted to switch, maybe choose cross tabs. It gives you the ability to also run significant testing. Maybe you might want to transpose, suppress different rows, or work on a custom option with our team. Another option I like to show is the ability to storytell. I talked a little bit about this. The ability to add visualization around the key insights so you can grab specific slides to start telling a story for your stakeholders versus showing every slide. A lot more control around the configuration of the deliverable to empower your team. This was a quick overview of how the reporting works. Now to our final section, let's talk about governance. This has become a much bigger topic over the years. Can my team have a closed loop system where we only see our projects? Can a manager be the only one with access to review the credits that are within the system? Can we have team members build projects but not approve them? All common questions and the answer to all is yes. It's vital that the system works specifically for you and your team members instead of fitting into the way the platform works. So we made full governance, control ingested within the platform, allowing to mimic the way the team currently works as a group or currently structured today. Change management is hard enough, so we didn't want governance to be something that your team needed to think about on the day-to-day. -day. I wanted to take a moment to show you this part of the platform because governance is very important, and this is one of the more sophisticated functions within the system. For example, global clients have been asking for this functionality because it helps with more control when they look at the overall flow, and it allows the left hand and right hand to know what they're doing at all times. As you can see on the screen, you can review different settings like basic, advanced, or by creating and hovering over the toggle, you can change the ability for someone to launch a study or not. Additionally, if you wanted to understand the approval process, you could hover over the question mark and see where it says approve projects that are internal review status. Whether it be project based or sample based, you have the ability and your team members to have as much control or little as control as you want. Additionally, it allows you to think about the specific settings depending on the levels or seniority. For example, having a junior person not having the ability to launch a study, this could help avoid them making a mistake because they didn't have access to this function within the platform. So I hope by seeing the various components of Methodify and also to understand that we're still evolving as the operating system of MR. We'd love the opportunity to better understand your current business process and your overall needs. And this is the conclusion of our Methodify demo. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'd love to have a conversation about your first next steps or new direction through technology. If you'd like to contact me direct, my email address is on the screen. And if you have additional questions, please feel free to put those in the Q&A or I'd be happy to do a follow-up after the event is over. Thanks again for your time and have a great day.